Hi everyone, Liz here, thanks for stopping by. So, what happens when you go to get in the shower and the UPS driver arrives and hubby answers the door and thinks, oh, I haven't had a parcel for ages, I'm going to open this parcel. This is what happens. <laughs> so I came downstairs and said, was there somebody at the door? And he said, oh yeah, you've got a diamond painting. And I went, oh, great. And then I looked and I said, what have you done? And he said, well, I just fancied opening it, so I have done. Uh. <laughs> I said, but Sam packages them so carefully and beautifully. And I usually keep the paper and show the unboxing on my channel. He says, well, you can still show everybody. It doesn't matter, does it? So I says, well, I'm going to tell everybody what you've done to my parcel. <laughs> So yeah, uh, this is actually um, a canvas that I won from Diamond Art Studio. They did a little raffle for a couple of their um, slight seconds kits, shall we say. And uh, there was three kits to be won. And I was lucky enough to be one of the winners. You can check out their Facebook page and uh, see the little wheel spinny thing to see when the winners were picked out. Uh, if you want to check that but yeah so this is what I've got left of my uh, yeah so we've got a little bit of lovely Diamond Art Studio ribbon with a sticker which I will put on my desk with my other stickers I don't like to keep my stickers keep my piece of ribbon as well uh, I've got my little a thank you card with it as well which was all nicely on top I have had these before so I do know what they do look like but yeah I've never had one passed to me looking like this <laughs> And then we've got our little social media card there as well with a little thank you on it, which is lovely. And it came in a nice weatherproof plastic bag, so if it would have got left outside, then it would have still been safe. And it came in the brown paper, which as I said, I usually take off and keep, but in this case, I can't. So we have a diamond painting and I just feel so lucky to have won this because it's one I didn't get. It is the Zesty Wolf that uh, Rebecca from Admore Zest um, brought out for her December Whip and Waffle, which is like her December advent. Um, and she did one section at a time over 24 days and you could buy this canvas um, to do to paint along with her or do your own canvas. At that time I did my own because... Um, if you see my videos, I had one that was, um, it had 2021 on it. And I was determined I was going to get it finished last year. <laughs> so that's what I did. And I missed out on getting one of these canvases. And as I say, um, Diamond Art Studio did have a few of the slight seconds that they decided to raffle off for Ukraine and uh, to raise money for them, which is a wonderful cause. And yeah, so it's come in this nice box. It's got a little bit of squish there. Hubby could have done that, I don't know. Uh, and it's got all the diamonds on. And it, it does, I think it is slightly, yeah, it is. It's holographic. I don't know if they, oh yeah, the camera is picking that up. It is actually a holographic box as well. Okay, and it just gives you your little toolkit there. Tells you what you've got inside. But let's have a look at this painting. How lucky am I to have won this? Yay! Fortunately, Hubby didn't open the painting, otherwise I might have had drills and goodness knows what all over the place. Hey dear. Not quite grounds for divorce, but ooh, it was getting there. <laughs> okay, so let's roll this out. Oh, look at that. Look at the colours. Oh, wow. Look at the colours on that and all the black. That is absolutely superb. Yeah, um... Admore Zest did work with Diamond Art Studio to uh, bring out, it's like a custom diamond painting that they did specifically for their event, which is just wonderful. It's a great canvas. Uh, it's flattening down nicely already, look. Uh, I will just take the cover off in a second. It's got the scalloped and little uh, pinpricked edges there, which is to stop it fraying, which I've never had a canvas fray. Maybe I've just been lucky, but that's what people tell me, which... It always, I don't like cutting the edges off, but anyway, that's just the crafter in me, not wanting to throw things away. We, that's the Admore Zest logo, which is uh, Rebecca's site. She actually has Admorezest.com and 
add more zest the diamond painting channel on youtube if you want to check out december with me you'll see all the whip and waffles and hair working on this day by day diamond art studio uk website and then diamond art studio uk uh, facebook page and instagram page and we have the little logo at the top as well i love the dripping diamond i think that's set really good okay so we have 21 colors and a key code at both sides with a little thumbnail and we've got dmc codes which is great they are all symbols but this drill field looks so clear it's uh, unbelievable but there you are that's all the different numbers there uh, i can't see that i'll particularly have any problems as i said i did watch uh, Rebecca each day doing this while I was doing mine so I have seen it all done up bit by bit uh, but yeah I'm not quite sure where the fault on this is I'm sure it must be a very very good second as you call them um, I think they did say on the actual details of the raffle where the actual uh, slight faults were on the canvases but to say I can't see the fault but, you know, that, that just is testament to the company, really, that they are, um, you know, doing quality control. And if they find just the slightest thing that's not quite right, then they won't sell the canvas. Uh, well, they won't sell it as a full price um, canvas. You know, they don't want people to get things that have any even slight little faults in, which makes them a very, very good company in my eyes. But I say, I just, can you spot any faults on this? I think this. Just looks amazing maybe there's some blurry symbols or something on it somewhere so i don't know i can't see anything it all looks pretty good to me there's certainly a lot of the turquoise background to do um, and because i'm not doing this as like the advent like the challenge or whatever doing it apart at a time i will probably just go around and do all the turquoise edge first and then do all the beautiful colour in the middle. But isn't that stunning? Really, really pretty. Uh, oh, let's give it a quick measure. I think we're, uh, we're a 30 by 40, but judging by the size, I believe this will be a true 30 by 40 drill area. So, yep, 30 centimetres that way, which is just slightly under 12 inches. And let's have a look this way. We are, yep, 40 centimetres that way, which is just under, it's about 15 and three quarter inches. So that's a really good size. It's a nice canvas. It's not too um, soft, but it's not stiff either. It's sort of an in-between one. Nice to work with. Uh, I sometimes find when you get the real soft ones and the floppy, because I don't fasten my canvases to um, an easel or anything, I just move around as I'm doing each part, I just move it around. And sometimes a bit will hang over the edge of the table. Um, so I prefer them they are a little bit stiffer because then they don't flop over the edge of the table. When you get a really soft canvas, it starts dragging your canvas over the edge because the weight's not there to hold it, if you get what I mean. <laughs> Oh, we've got a little bit of pit. Oh no, that's probably me. No, I just can't see anything on this. Uh, but I'm not going to look for the fault because, as I say, to me, it's just a great diamond painting and I will just enjoy doing it. Let's have a look at their tool kits. They're a nice tool kit. Uh, definitely not just a starter tool kit, not a beginner tool kit, uh, but very good if it is your first painting that you're doing. Uh, obviously, it's really difficult to get into. <laughs> it's Liz proof. <laughs> <laughs> so let's have a look what we've got in here oh dear. right okay so we have oh uh, a three play set and i think that might be a seven okay. grab my little card or is it a six We've got a seven placer there, just checking on my little card. And they are the thin white ones, which people seem to prefer. And I believe that will be a four. Yep, so we have a four placer and a seven placer. 
Okay, uh, you've got your single player set on your blue pen, so you just pop those into the end. So you can just swap those out with whichever ends you want. Uh, if you don't want your single player, so you can take that one out and have your four, uh, yeah, your four and your seven on one pen if you want to. We've got your little pen grip, which is great. So if you prefer something that's a little bit chunkier when you're diamond painting, uh, it just makes it that little bit thicker and easier to hold there. Um, also great for this weather because you do find your hands do get sticky. Um, so yeah, if you're just holding onto plastic, you can find your hands slip a bit. So these little pen grips do stop that. Uh, we've got a little white moss for boat which is good because you've got your little spout, which they're always handy. And the moss for boats as well, rather than stopping where the edges, uh, where it bends in, curves in to go to the point, they actually continue a little bit further. So you do actually get your drills lined up more in these. There's more little um, stripes in these, as it were, to get your drills into. Got a nice little uh, wax, blue wax, which uh, to be fair, I've not tried yet. Um, in a little pot which that's good because it keeps your wax from getting fluff and things on it and keeps it from drying out and then your very good pointy black tweezers uh, so do be careful with these they are very very sharp so always try and keep the end on them um, I speak from experience when I say I have some of these in my pencil case and the end came off and I did stab myself and there was quite a few choice words came out when I stabbed myself. So, yeah, just watch out for those. A bit out to get you. <laughs> okay, let's get these put back in here. I do like the toolkits. To me, the toolkits are like just getting a little extra present when you get your canvas. I always like to see what's in them and all the little bits and pieces. So it's uh, my womble life, I think, collecting things. <laughs> So let's have a look at these drills. Look at those colours. Oh, this is going to be wonderful when it's done. Nice summery colours to work on as well. Actually, just thinking this would be quite nice um, for my summer corner. I have decided I'm going to do a summer theme when I get uh, my Jubilee corner removed and taken down. Uh, it's going to be replaced with, uh, with a summer theme. But this is quite... The colours of it are just so bright and vibrant, albeit I am going to have some rabbits on my summer theme. Do I really want a wolf near a rabbit? Mm, maybe so, maybe so. We'll have to see, we'll have to keep them well apart. <laughs> okay, so let's have a look at these diamonds. Wow, look at these. So we have... 310 and we have three bags of 310 which is fair enough because that's going to be all the way around the edges and then we have a couple of greys these drills look wonderful i do believe these are resin drills so they are the better quality you do get extra facets and they do shine that a little bit more and we've got a lovely sort of pumpkin color and my peppermint cream green and like a salmony pink colour and then just a little bit earlier colour and how many bags of the background have we got let's have a look and that is 775 and there's four bags of those so that colour I love that colour it is one of my favorite. it's just so fresh and really oh love it yeah gonna look forward to doing that okay and then is that the same colour as well that's 981 sorry 891 and 892 so we've got some good colour shade in there in the colour families and 893 as well so yeah they're just slight different shades of each colour which give you your depth and uh, your shading and that lovely purpley whiny colour and the brown and very deep orange colour okay and then we have that's a deep brown. Oh, look at these greens. Look at those together. Another pink and then a paler orange. Oh, wow. This, I just love it. You can tell when you get a quality canvas. And I'm so pleased um, that we have got a really good diamond painting company in the UK now. Um, and they're over a year old, going from strength to strength, and they've got some fantastic paintings, so do go and check them out. They're a really good company, so let's see if I can get these folded to go back in this bag. 
Okay, so a huge thank you to Diamond Art Studio UK for doing the little raffle and uh, thank you for picking me. Uh, it's much appreciated. It really made my day after the horrible day that I'd had to uh, get an email to say, yay, you've won this. Oh, brilliant. Thank you. Uh, yeah, and thank you to Rebecca and uh, Diamond Art Studio for designing this one. Um, hopefully Rebecca will be doing another one this year and hopefully I can get involved with that one as well. If you have enjoyed looking at this with me, a thumbs up is always much appreciated. If you've got any comments or questions, leave them in the comments down below for me. And if you want to come back and see what I get up to next, then if you press that subscribe button and the all notification bell next to it, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up. So thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.